victory over addictions, victory over habits, victory over sicknesses, victory over diseases, victory over your fears, victory. That's the dimension of the Spirit of God. Tonight we want to see that dimension of God. Victory over bandits, victory over kidnappers, victory over corruption. We want to see it in our land. But let her You are going to take one matter, one issue in which you need the Lord to give you victory. Place it before. Hallelujah. Whatever it is, place that matter before you. That you want to see the dimension of God that wants victory. Bless that dimension of God before you. In prayer tonight, remember the songs we're singing are no entertainment. If you see all the songs we've been singing, they are prayers we're making to God. So bless it. It could be for your personal life. It could be for the nation, Nigeria. It could be for a loved one. Bless it before the hands of God tonight. Bless it before the hands of God tonight. My One more time, because we want to see you. We want to see you like a mighty rushing. Over that matter, we want to dwell. To dwell under the shadow of Jesus. We want to see you like a mighty rushing. My God, we want to dwell under the shadow. We are the mighty ones. We want to We want to see We want to see We want to see We We want to dwell under the shadow of your wings. I galabo shote keli e de 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 blue 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 like a mighty wind spirit of victory shaka bayadaba cover us with your i malaba ba 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 kashonde li adada bo seke telebosha blue like a mighty wind shaka bayada spirit of living God i kabayadaba cover us with your wings. Maneke so brogodo shikala bayadaba. Blow like a mighty wind. Spirit of victory shatapalayadaba. Cover us with your wind. Maneke liada. I want to specially welcome every one of you to the prayer mountain this morning. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome to the prayer mountain. God bless you for connecting with us this morning. Wherever you are, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are getting into prayers this morning on the mountain. And uh, I want you to do something. I want you to send this link to somebody. Wake somebody up for a good cause, for a good reason to pray. Because the prayers we are going to get into this morning, they are very, very important to our life. Very, very, very important. 
to our life. And it has, it might be for some of us here, yeah, one of the reasons why things are the way they are, why things are the way they are. The Lord began to speak to me before today, and I announced it yesterday that we're going to be correcting evil foundations. We're going to be correcting wrong foundations, wrong foundations, evil foundations this morning. And so that will be the direction of our prayers on the mountain this morning. I want you to open up your spirit because I have observed that the old is always a threat to the new. I mean, the new is always a threat to the old. And that is one of the reasons why people are limited. Yesterday, we observed that the, Jesus could not perform mighty works in his own place. Why? Because they, they became too familiar with him and they took him for granted. And so they lost what would have been miracles, miracles that they could have enjoyed right where he came from, his own place. You know, foundations are very important in life. And foundational problems are real problems. I repeat, foundation, foundations is very important in life. Very important in life. Very important in life. Very, very, very important, my brothers and sisters. And foundational problems are real. They are real problems. They are not really just on the pages of prayer points. No, they are very, very real problems. Listen. Many questions are not answered today in the lives of many people because of the issue of foundation. I pray for you as you hear the sound of my voice that the mercy of God shall visit your foundation this morning. The mercy of God shall visit your foundation wherever you are. The mercy of God shall visit your foundation. Any area, whatever that needs to be repaired, whatever that needs to be corrected in your foundation, in the foundation of your children, I decree and I declare today it shall be corrected, it shall be repaired, the foundation of your marriage, the foundation of your relationship, the foundation of your job, the foundation of your of your bed, the foundation of your family. I pray today in the name of Jesus that God himself will repair by the ultimate power of creation. He will repair. He will repair. He that laid the foundations of the heavens and the earth. He will repair your foundation. He will correct your foundation in the name of Jesus. When he came into the scene of the earth, when he appeared on the scene, the earth foundation was without form. It was void. The foundations of the earth was out of order and place. He created the foundation. He repaired the foundation. He made he made bare. He made sure that everything was now in order. He called for light. I pray for you today. I pray for you and I extend this prayer to, the, to your children, to your seed. In the name of Jesus, every foundation of addiction, every foundation of their problem, I decree today, let the foundation be removed. Let the foundation be removed and let a new foundation, a concrete foundation be established right now in the name of jesus stubbornness was at the foundation of so many people's life some people their marriage was the foundation of their marriage was built on disobedient foundation it was based on a foundation of harlotry some people are in canada today what brought them to canada was harlotry what brought them to Canada was one big man that said, okay, I'm going to help you, but you have to do this. And they did it. And true, they got what they wanted, but they laid a foundation that today they've not settled down in this country. They are going from one place to the other. Some people, their foundation is in the house, in the house of prostitute. Their credit card is littered from one prostitute to the other. It's a foundation they laid. Today, even when they said they are no longer doing, spiritually, they've not removed that foundation. In the name of Jesus, some people swindled their best friend and married their best friend's fiance. Some people swindled their brother, their sister, and then they took the position. Listen, Jacob was never settled until God met with him because of what he did to his brother. I pray for you today. Every error at the foundation of your life 
lie. May there be a correction by divine arrangement, by divine pen. Let there be correction. Let there be correction. Let there be correction. Let there be correction. In any area, you thought you were smart and wise, and then you did this and you did that. I pray for you today. May mercy speak for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. God takes the issue of foundation very, very important. God, God, our God, he takes the issue of foundation very, very important. In the book of Psalm 105, verse 5, the Bible says, Who laid the foundations of the earth that it should not be removed? He laid the foundations of the earth that it should not be removed. God respect, honors, regard, foundation. Yes, I'm telling you. The reason why many people have problems in life, please just take me. Just listen to me on the mountain this morning. Get ready. Tighten your ghetto. Tighten your bed. Tie your head very well. Or throw away the a tie and get into serious prayer business now. This is very important. The reason why many people have problems in life is because of a shaky foundation, a, an error foundation, a faulty foundation. Because wherever you are, the mercy of God will reach you this morning. The mercy of God will reach you right now. The mercy of God will reach you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. The book of Psalms chapter 11, verse 3. The Bible book of Psalms chapter 11 and in verse 3. The Bible says, if the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? I answer today, my God, have mercy. The righteous will pray. <laughs> hey, show me a man who can pray. Show me a man who will concentrate to address the issues of his foundation. Show me a girl. Show me a lady. Show me a sister who will address the issue of his foundation. I tell you, she will go free. She will be free. She will be delivered. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you today any faulty foundation that you escaped but they want to raise up their head in the generation of your children may the almighty God silence them permanently uh -huh. I am telling you foundations can cry he will keep quiet because one person have, have silenced him he will not go to another person he will not go to another generation eh? the, sin, the, the other sister will overcome I will see whether the younger one will overcome I will attack you they will show his face again Foundations are the mighty men that are in the family bloodline. Foundations are the mighty wicked people that are right there in the village, but they know all the children that have traveled abroad. You didn't tell them, they didn't inform them, but they know everything. Oh yes, I'm telling you. In the name of Jesus, I command their arsenals and their networks to scatter. Hey, let their evil mirrors scatter in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, my God and my Father. Hey, he said, what can the righteous do? Because it's a foundational issue. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 16. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 16. He said, therefore, thus say the Lord God, behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone. A, I lay in foundation for his foundation, a stone, a tried stone. So it means that foundations are stony. They are stony in nature. Foundation are hard. They are strong in nature. I lay in Zion for a foundation. Which kind of foundation? A stone, a tried stone, the precious corner stone, a sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste. You see now, because foundations are not things you do hastily. They are things you settle down to deal with in the place of prayer. I pray for someone hearing the sound of my voice. The foundation that your father failed to overcome because he couldn't pray like you. The foundation that your mother couldn't overpower because he did not understand the spiritual 
spiritual revelations like you, now that you have understood them, I decree and I declare, may that faulty foundation scatter, may that faulty foundation be destroyed, receive capacity, receive spiritual ability, receive divine anointing. Oh my goodness. Wherever you are, put your twins on your head, receive divine capacity, receive spiritual fire, receive divine anointing to break what they didn't break, to destroy what they couldn't destroy, to scatter what they couldn't scatter in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. What is a foundation? What is a foundation? A foundation is the platform upon which your life is laid. A foundation is the bedrock upon which your life is built. That is a foundation. That is a foundation. Everything in your life that have corrupted your foundation today, in the name of Jesus, let the foundation be cor that have that have corrupted. Let the foundation be corrected. Power that corrupted your foundation. Today, I break them. May your foundation be corrected by fire. May your foundation be. Ah, who did I come here for this morning? Lord, why am I on the mountain? Yes, because of this woman. Yes, because of this young girl. Yes, because of this young man. In the name of Jesus, let you pass the power of creation correct your foundation by fire correct your foundation by fire uh -huh. correct your foundation by fire correct your foundation by fire some foundation were built on lies some foundations were built on witchcraft some foundations were built on sacrifice blood 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 Plus sacrifice. Some foundations were built on the disadvantage and the tears of the innocent. Today, that foundation is crying for vengeance. And they are like, please, when the blood of Abel cried out against Cain, the Bible said God couldn't help Cain. God plants a mark on Cain. If anybody that wanted to rise up to help Cain, God said they will face the consequence. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Every foundation that have crippled your movement, that that has, that, that has delayed your, your, your progress, foundation that have limited you in any way, limited your husband in any way. The day you married your wife, you married into what they were facing in that same family. The day you married your husband, you married into the battles that they were also facing in the family. I pray for you today in the name that is above every other name. May the God, the maker of the heavens and the earth, he that laid the foundations of the earth, may that same God come into your matter. May he correct your foundation. May he correct your foundation right now. May he correct your foundation right now. May he correct your foundation by fire in the name of Jesus Christ foundations. Everything in life has foundation. Everything. There is a foundation for your life. There's a foundation for destiny. There's a foundation for marriage. There's a foundation for ministry. There's a foundation for career. Yes. Yes. That, that, yes, that marriage you entered and the girl was already pregnant. Yes. You laid the foundation. It was a foundation you laid. You didn't know. Uh, it was a foundation you laid. That's your first child. That 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 you carry that pregnancy outside of wedlock. He need prayer. Uh, I'm just the one telling you. She need prayer. <laughs> you didn't know that it was foundation you laid. I am telling you today. It may be 25 years after that. I'm telling you now. Maybe it's about 30 years later. Now you are coming. Uh, so is this so? Yes, it is so. But listen, there is a way out. That is why we are here on the mountain. Yes, marriage has foundation. Ministry has foundation. I have seen many people. The, oh, Jesus. Many pastors. God have mercy. They broke down. They, they, what they did was that they wanted to start their ministry. They were branch pastors. What did they do? They just went outside one day, removed the signboard of the other old ministry that, they, that was there before. They put their own new ministry. It was the same members, the same church building, everything. The sweat of another person's ministry. They carried the, the Today is a problem. Listen, it doesn't matter how far lie runs. When truth cash up, lie will pay bitterly. 
I'm telling you, it doesn't matter how far lie run. Lie can be running and making noise everywhere, but the day truth cash up. Lie we pay with tears. Lies we pay with tears. I'm telling you the truth. I have seen many, 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 many destroy what the labor of another one, of another person. Your career has a foundation. Your faith has a foundation. The Bible calls it the foundation of our faith. Your faith has a foundation. Your church has a foundation. Your business has a foundation. Listen, you didn't know that that night that you were with your husband and God did it and it culminated into that pregnancy that finally came and you had that night. What you did that night, you said it was sex. Yes, yes, yes. I told you what you need to go and listen to my message. My message uh, the series i did on the the, the 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 negative impact of sex you know and then the positive impact of it you didn't know that that night what you were laying was a foundation for the destiny of a new generation the destiny of your of, of that child the destiny of that marital journey you didn't know that you laid that foundation and the child came and now the child is here and you are like, wow, what a wonderful thing. This child has become great. This child has become wonderful. Yes, you know why? Because one night you lay the foundation. If you have 12 children, you lay 12 foundation. That is what I want you to understand. Yes, 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 yes. Your foundation is your root. Yes, I pray for someone under the sound of my voice. Get ready. There is a bullet coming to the camp of the wicked one. There is a bomb going straight to the foundation of this issue. Yes, a bomb going right there now. Mental health issue, there is a foundation for it. Nothing starts just overnight. There is always cause and effect. And the coske palianes capaida, rush catelie, deke sumama yadagada, any foundation that has made you unprofitable in life, any foundation that is unprofitable to your life and that have made you unprofitable in life, let the fire of God come upon the foundation. At the Piebo Sapaina Ladekata, let that evil foundation, let that forty one receive fire. Begin to type, begin to type your amen right there now, right there now. Let that evil foundation receive fire now. Amen. This is not just as uh, as usual, regular money. Let's go again. Let's go and connect to prayer mountain. Today is a different one. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare over your life. In the precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I shall lay the foundation of that sickness. I shall lay the root of that family trouble. I challenge the It's a foundation. I challenge it now. I challenge it now. In the name of Jesus, let the fire of God destroy that foundation. Destroy that foundation. Destroy that foundation. Destroy that foundation. You will not bury any of your children. You will not bury your grandchildren. In the name of Jesus, you will not bury your husband. In the name of Jesus, every foundation that has caused trouble in your life or causing trouble in your life, I approve the foundation Foundation. There is a God in heaven. He laid the foundations of the earth. He's a master builder. He's an excellent builder. In the name of Jesus, I cause the foundation to scatter. Every wrong foundation scatter. My God, by your mercy, lay this foundation again. Lay this foundation for this young woman. Lay this foundation for this young man. Lay this foundation for this family. Lay a new foundation. My God, today by prayer, we begin to create new foundations by the blood of Jesus. 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 Blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Somebody shout fire seven times. One to go. Type it there. Fire, 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 fire. Seven times. Or put in that emoji for fire. Do it seven times. Do it seven times. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen, your foundation is the beginning of your strength. Now you get it. Yes, your foundation is the beginning of your strength. Your foundation is your origin. Is your origin. Your foundation, you know, you know, is the place you are coming from. Yes, 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 sister. There is no other way to explain this thing. 
It's a serious business. It's a serious matter. Yes, it has it has stopped many people. Even people that were called by God, God had to tell them, look, remove your father's foundation first. He told Gideon in Judges chapter 6. He said, yes, I called you. I said, you are a mighty man of valor. You can't do this assignment until you take down the foundation of your father. Pull it down. It's not a good foundation. Then you build a new foundation. Then I will deliver Israel through you. <laughs> And the Bible said that Gideon went in the night. If you reach Gideon, I mean, read Judges, Judges chapter 6. If you read it from verse 25 down to verse 29, you will discover that Gideon had to go in the night. He had to go in the night. Yes, it is a bad one. Gideon had to go in the night. He went in the night to go and fight, to go and remove the father. Why didn't he go in the daytime? Why didn't he go in the daytime? Even though Gideon went in the night, see what happened. The Bible said that when it was morning, all of them came together, all the elders, family elders, witches and wizards, wicked people. They will not die. They will not allow children born into the family to succeed. They, anybody in that family, you see, you see ah, that there are wicked people, wicked family elders, they won't die. They will remain there. Or, and any child, born, they will hand over that family key spiritually to another person they have initiated into that wickedness to continue. They are very weird. I decree today, may God off their light. Ah, man, I say, may God off their light in the name of Jesus. You are not for sale, your life is not for satanic marketing. I off the life of those wicked elders in the name of Jesus Christ. Or now, if you go to some family, it's only old, old people you see. The young, young people are dying. You will hear last year, another young one. Yeah, another, but the old, old ones, they deal. The old, old ones are there. In the name of Jesus, I pray right now. If you agree with me, I off the light of every wicked person in your family. I say, I off their light. Let the young ones begin to live long. And anybody who have who have inherited that wickedness from, 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 the, from, the, from the wicked people in that family, anyone like that, may the fire of God disarm them. May the fire of God remove their, remove their powers from them in the name of Jesus Christ. It, Gideon didn't go in the daytime when God told him, Gideon, you are going to deliver my people. You are mighty man of valor. Go and deliver my people. Gideon said, God. I am the least of my father's house. I don't know how to do this one. God said, don't worry, go. I go in this, your might. I will give you victory. The Bible said, when Gideon wanted to go, God told him, hold on. You think it's like that? You think that is the way to do it? Go on, first of all, remove the foundation, the fourth wrong foundation of your father's house. Remove it first. Gideon said, how will I? <laughs> Gideon started getting scared. How will I do this, Father? What, what will I? He said, you, if you don't pull the, your, the fan, wrong foundation of your father, if you don't pull it down, you can't do anything for me. You can't even deliver Israel because the problem of Israel is in their foundation. The problem of this is in their, go and remove your own father's house. Fund, what evil foundation? Remove it first. Gideon went in the night. In the morning, as I was saying, the Bible said that they came back. The elders came together. They looked around. They ask themselves, who did this thing? The Bible says, if you read that place, the Bible says they concluded. <laughs> they discovered. They made some inquiries. They may have thrown some things on the floor and inquired from Midian. I said, hmm, who did this? And then they found out that it was Gideon. <laughs> it was Gideon. So Gideon, you did this thing. They started looking for him to kill. Can I pray for you? In the name that is above every other name. Do you understand that your foundation is your origin? I say your foundation is the place you are coming from. Your foundation is your yesterday. Mm, yes, yes, yes. Is there, there is nothing in my yesterday that can affect my today. Please don't deceive yourself. Your foundation is your hereditary from family patterns. It's your hereditary family pattern. It's your bloodline. Nobody can rise beyond the height of his foundation. No, you cannot. Any house with a low foundation in this part of the world where I live here now will be subjected to flooding. Oh, yes. Any house with a low foundation in a low land will be subject to flooding. Will be subject to, it will be at the mercy of storms and stormy situations. 
foundation, one of the things I observe about foundation is that foundations are invisible, but they exist. You see the big building, but you never see the foundation. Foundation, not the show face. It's already down. It's already that boy is the one working on everything. Mm. You see the same sickness in their mother, it's in their brother, it's in their sister, it's in their cousin. You just be looking around the family, you will be seeing traces of nonsense. That devil is a bastard. In the name that is above every other name, where is that foundation hiding? Receive supernatural bomb. Be exploded and scattered by fire. Now, in the name of Jesus, shout it with me. Say, every evil foundation in my life, catch fire now. Catch fire now. In the name of Jesus. Malegedebo shadabayada bayada. So many years ago, we had a pastor, a very young guy. Young guy, that time he was ordained. He was ordained into, oh, some just two minutes, but let me share this with you because we are going to continue this next week, next week, Saturday on, on the prayer mountain. I said you should invite people for prayer mountain because there are people suffering this thing. They, look, foundation is not respect of color. In this land of Canada where I am, I have seen great grandfather went to prison. Grandfather went to the same prison. Father went to the same jail. This child went to the same jail, came out. The grandchildren now, they are going to the jail. What is pulling them to jail? What is pulling them there? There is a foundation problem. Mm, it's there. It's, it's a foundation problem. Great grandfather addicted. Grandfather addic addiction problem. Father addiction problem. Children addiction problem. Grandchildren addiction problem. That devil is a liar. Please, I beg you. Don't trivialize what I'm talking to you about. This thing is, is a bondage in the lives of people. This young man gave his life to Christ and became a pastor. But you know what? In his family, they don't used to have children. If you must have children, you must not be legally married to, to that woman. You must have a child outside of a wed of wedlock. If you understand what I'm explaining, this young man became a pastor. He went to mountain. He went to valley. He did everything. He did He tried. And then he said one day, he said, evangelist, if I don't, if, I, if God is not going to deliver me, that is one thing the foundation will do. Foundation will frustrate you. You know why? Because it's a stone. Uh, it's stony, remember. It will frustrate you. It will frustrate your effort. When you are trying to escape through it, it will try to block it. When you are trying, it will try to block it. In fact, it is foundation that makes people fight with their helpers. A foundational problem. Mm. You'll be asking questions that is supposed to be, somebody is supposed to celebrate. Ah, oh, thank you. I'm so interested in my case. You, you, you will get fight. You will get problem, trouble in return. Why? You'll be wondering what is going on. It's foundation. There is a foundation that is rising. They, mm, don't agree. Because you know that if that is accepted, a yoke will break. A yoke will break. Manoko Siadaba. This young man, one day, what I heard about him was that his lady was pregnant for him. Hmm. Pregnant for him. And that lady had a child for him. He was, I, I, I asked him, I said, sir, you have done wrong. This is not supposed to be. No, 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 no. He said, Apostle, I, I, I was frustrated. I don't know what to do. I said, I said, you should know what to do. It is the foundation that of the family problem that is frustrating you. That is the problem. After they had that child out of wedlock, he married that girl. He married that girl. But after marrying that girl, the girl didn't have any child. The only child he had was not the one he had outside of wedlock. You don't understand the, 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 the dimension I'm talking about. Foundation is, is full of wickedness. It's dangerous. Because foundation is senior to you. It was there. You did not lay it. It was laid. And some of some of some foundation you too laid by yourself. This, can I quickly say something? Anytime you see a crack on the wall, physically on the wall. There is a pro problem in the root. Yes, 
the crack you see on the wall, on the wall, <laughs> that crack is just a result of what is going on down in the foundation. Yes, I'm telling you the truth here. Foundation is very expensive. The building, the cost of the building may just be not too much, but the foundation, the bulk of the money goes into the foundation. You can't be in a hurry when in, in, in the stage of foundation, when you are in the stage of foundation, you can't be in a hurry. You have to deal with it seriously. Foundational problems are those problems that swallowed you from the womb of your mother. Can I pray with you? In the name that is above every other name, I challenge every foundation that is bringing, bringing ugliness, shame, and embarrassment into your life. I challenge them. Receive deliverance by fire. Name of Jesus Christ. Receive deliverance by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who am I praying for? Receive deliverance by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 29. Jeremiah chapter 31, and in verse 29, in those days, they shall say no more. The fathers have eaten a sour grape, and the children's teeth are set on an edge. He said it's an error. It's an error. Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 44. Behold, everyone that uses proverb shall use this proverb against thee, saying, as the mother, so is her daughter. That devil is a liar. Somebody shouted, I reject evil foundation. I destroy evil foundation. I rebuild every negative foundation. Today, I remove the foundation and I rebuild a new foundation. I establish a new order in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. Isaiah chapter 14 and in verse 21. You may not be the one that initiated that problem, but today I decree and I declare every problem that is occurring in your foundation, I destroy them now by fire in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the precious name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to stop here today. We shall continue next week, Saturday. Oh, my father, wherever you are, do something for me. Put your two hands on your head. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, put one hand, hand on your head, sorry. Put one hand on your head and put the other one on your, in your, on your tummy. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare every evil foundation, faulty foundation, negative foundation, where I married from, in my own place, in the love of my children, right now, oh God, I decree and I declare, let there be divine correction. Ah, let there be divine correction, Baba. Let there be divine correction by fire. Let there be divine correction by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mako Sotelia da Baba. Roboko Sotele Bragadoshka. Imano Koso Keli Baba Bayadaba. Worship him, give him all the praise right now. Give him all the glory, give him all the glory, give him all the glory. I have told you before, there is no shortcut. If, 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 if anybody that is lazy in prayer can never overcome spiritual warfare. And most of the things people face is in, is, is in the spiritual dimension. I'm the one telling you that. <laughs> uh, so, so don't let anybody deceive you. Don't let anybody deceive you. So many, some, some months ago, a brother called me from Calgary. I was sharing with me how a pastor said he should bring some items. He will, he will use them to pray for him, that he should send money. And then when you send the money, you use it to buy dove, use it to buy fowl, use it to buy this. I said, what are you talking to me? I showed, I said, are you, are, is this a pastor or a native daughter? <laughs> is the thing you are talking to me about now you are talking to somebody that understand that side and understand light i understand darkness and i understand light what are you talk talking about is this person a, a true man of god or it does not appear to be so why are you why are you wasting he says sir that's why I, as i saw your your prayer video on, on, on YouTube, I quickly said, let me call you. I said, please don't send a dime 
Don't send a copper to that person. Don't send a, a cent, a dollar to that person. I say, because you would put yourself inside more trouble. It is the laziness of many Christians that made faith to be attractive to their eyes. Eh? Just like that. You just do her like this and the whole thing will be over. You better enter prayer. That is why we are here to do prayer. Uh -huh. There is, he said, as soon as Zion traveled, she brought forth a child. As soon as Zion traveled, she, he, Zion, Zion engaged traveling prayer. Boom, he gave up. Not uh, somebody, oh, can you, some, can you phone heaven for me? And once you phone heaven for me, I'll know what to do. We'll do more prayer. The, you know, we, you have to be spiritually strong. Spiritually strong. Do you think everybody's like you? No, no. Well, the way you, you bought a house, you are happy, everything is moving on well. Uh, and so and you, you think everybody's just as you say the devil has become your friend. No, no, it he, is nobody's friend. He's he one selfish, wicked person. I pray for you as you hear the sound of my voice in the name that is above every other name. May you encounter the God who laid the foundations of heaven and earth. May that same God encounter your life, encounter your family, encounter your children, and correct every negative foundation right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. And blessed be your name forever. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. And surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. You will dwell in the house of the Lord God forever and ever. Amen. Sorry, before I round up.